<laughs> Mike and Beavis and Butthead are all here to promote the, the movie, movie, which is coming out, <laughs> which I'm sure will do very now, how well. How did the movie come about? Uh, 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 uh how'd the movie come about, guys? Uh, well, uh, I will refer to Mike for that question. Well, Mike, well, the funny uh, thing um, is, <clears throat> the funny thing is that from what I know is. The, the movie studio wanted to use real actors instead of like the cartoons, Ooh, yeah. which would have been a major mistake. Was that so? Yeah. I, well, that's what I'm asking. Did somebody come to them with the idea of doing Beavis and Butthead the movie? Yeah, they approached uh, us about a week or two after the show went on the air, actually. Oh, really? really? They knew. But that was all for live action. That's really? Cool. Yeah. Who did they want to play Beavis and Butthead? Uh, like David Geffen wanted to cast unknowns, just fine. 14 year olds somewhere that would have been the biggest bomb in the history of movies yeah I think so yeah them? two guys as Beavis and Butthead which everyone would have said it was like a Wayne's World or something it wouldn't have been them you would have had to end up looping all the voices in or something because yeah, it would have been so lame yeah it, that would have I think it would have sucked yeah yeah Mike hasn't had an easy career so I mean <laughs> what happened with that did you turn it down or yeah I just I just didn't I said I, I don't want to uh write the screenplay or do anything if it's going to be live action. Now but they had a right to do it even? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Mike has no rights to be in Butthead. That's, what I <laughs> that's, what, that's why I love Mike's story. Whether he <laughs> could have just nixed that idea or Mike's not. Mike's like the guys who created Superman. Uh -huh. they, they, they died pauperous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty great story. Because what happened? I mean, just, I mean, you've no, told the story on the air before, but so Mike gets out of like college or something, right? Yeah, well, actually, I was, I was, I'd been out of college for a while. Yeah. yeah. I was just making animated shorts. Yeah, and he had, you know, he had this whole thing going with Beavis and Butthead. And it's and like he, some guy wanted, it wasn't even MTV. Some guy was going to show his cartoon at some convention or something. Right. So he signed away the rights to that guy. <laughs> right? No, that's not, no. The, people Whoa. from Colossal Pictures Colossal wanted Pictures. to run it in liquid television. I, and right. I didn't sign. They wanted to, but I didn't. Oh. And then I held out, and then I... Signed it away to MTV. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh yeah. Then he signed but, away. No, he signed oh, away everything to MTV. You got to remember, no, uh, nobody owns. <coughs> Matt Groening doesn't own The Simpsons. Chuck Jones doesn't. I mean, that's okay. just the one. Okay. I just think when you create something as unique as Beavis and Butthead, you should get some. There should be a payday somewhere. Because what are the odds of ever doing that? Yeah, there's some. I, I've I've gotten some paydays since we last talked. <laughs> but what are you doing with uh, all this merchandising too? You getting a piece of that? I'm, I'm doing, doing an audit right now, actually. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. That's what he's doing. He's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not drawing pictures <laughs> yeah. anymore. He's auditing. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I've never seen, I have never seen so much stuff. Look at this. This is this is Beavis and Butthead aftershave. Are you kidding? Yeah, that wait, came out this year, yeah. Wait, wait. You got to see this. There's Beavis and Butthead everything. This is a Beavis actually, and Butthead holder I haven't for seen you. It. It's like, this is Beavis and Butthead. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, I haven't seen a, it on the Howard Stern show. This is a Beavis and Butthead CD holder. Now, you see, like I know like with my image, you couldn't make a Beavis. You couldn't make a Howard Stern CD holder unless I said okay to it. Uh -huh. But with Mike, because he got such a screwy deal, that they can make this a comes Beavis. out and he's going, "Oh, I didn't know that existed." Now, are you are entitled to getting anything off the CD crate? Does it have my? Yeah, look at look at that one. And this is the aftershave. He's and this now got to examine this. Oh, at least yeah. they put my name on it. Did they? <laughs> yeah. They send all the stuff to me, but there's so much stuff. Well, supposedly, actually, I, I probably, probably never. I never saw this. You would probably like to see less of this kind of stuff, right? I mean, you would like to control yeah, it. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff that goes out with like s captions that are really dumb that I didn't you write. You don't write kind of, it, and oh. it looks like really bad panel cartoons. I mean, that's yeah. probably a good example right there. Yeah, right. Who had the uh, Who had the uh, rights to this? This what is a is Beavis. That? This is the Beavis and Butthead. I don't mean to upset you. <laughs> TV Talker by Winfield. You put it on your TV. On top of your TV okay, when I you heard throw about that one, yeah. <laughs> now what? Wait, what does yet. that do? <laughs> Haven't seen it till. Because look, and then it's got like little writing on it. Same crap on every channel. Shut up, fart knocker. This rules. This kicks ass. This sucks. There's no nudity. So I guess they got you saying that stuff off the uh, cartoon, and they put that in a box. Then here's a whole bunch of Beavis and Butthead books. See, now this is supposed to have my name on it like the other one. <laughs> See? And he keeps uh, looking for his yeah. name. <laughs> it's on this one. Yeah, right. It's on the CD holder. So what happens? Who owns the rights to all this stuff? Nowhere on here is my name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. This is like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to this Mike Judge's Night is not suitable name. for children. Is that what it says? The product <laughs> is not suitable for children? Yeah. Well, is the it really? hell is it suitable for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it emits deadly gas. Or yeah, something. right. Yeah. So but will you see any money from any of this stuff? Do you, do yeah. I've started to see some money. Really? I mean, I'm. I saw. I, I got some uh, checks. I mean, originally I was supposed to. I was, had this deal that was supposed to get me some money. I was getting checks for like fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> to sell like nine billion Beavis right, and Butthead right. everything. T-shirts. No, I mean, now I've now I've gotten you know like some sizable. You checks. have. 
Yeah. yeah. And, but it's really hard to know. Maybe there's even more you should be getting. You yeah, could be getting ripped off. And that's why you're doing the audit because you so, can't figure it out. I'm trying to get the audit done like... Be, I was trying to get it done before the movie comes out. So, right. because there's going to be an explosion after the movie, you hope. Yeah. And also, so that, you know. So, when you get a check for like 12 grand, you're going, hey, this is great, but <laughs> some guy might have made $80 million. Right. And he's living in Bel Air. <laughs> is Mike now rich? Uh, are, you, are you a millionaire now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Ooh, I mean, you should be. Good for mm. you. Like the books and stuff, you had something to do with these? Um, yeah, uh, that, that one right there. The making there, the, of the, the movie. The script has a. Huge mistake in it. There's the uh, <laughs> the animation in yeah. the in the margins is actually I drew every frame of the oh, yeah? smack cycle. I right. actually animated that. Right. The, and the headbanging cycle. And it gives credit to the three guys who traced it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. What's going on with your career? You got an agent? I don't know. Oh, yeah. You do? God. Yeah, and I just I I, I Is he I paying attention to you? Stink about this. It's been okay for a while, but that these were some there's been some I think recent you need problems. different representation. Yeah, you might need different representation. <laughs> who is your agent? Shecky Polanski? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I mean, I don't know. All right, so let me... Let, is let me, he available? May I talk to Beavis and Butthead for a few more minutes? Uh, go right ahead. Okay, all right. Uh, They're be- pissed off now. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, do... Because uh, I'm looking at Mike looking at that box that he has never seen before. He's still twisting that box looking for his name. Yeah, I don't even know what the TV talker is. It's weird. <laughs> I don't understand who owns the merchandise. Does MTV own the merchandising rights? It has my it? name on it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, let me ask you guys a question, because I've often wondered this when I watched the cartoon and I'm wondering in the movie. Will you show your wieners in the movie? Uh, they had to digitize Beavis's wiener. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> really? It was so small? <laughs> yeah, it was too big. Shut up, butthead. <laughs> <laughs> and what about uh, the movie? Is it rated R or PG? or what, what, what is the rating? Do we know? Um... <laughs> Um, PG-13. Is that right? <laughs> so there's a little uh, dirty talk and maybe some nudity. Are any of the cartoons nude? Uh, you can see my butt twice. <laughs> Is that right? The full butt? The full butt crack? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you can see, um, you can see just a little bit of my nutsack if you look close enough. Is that really true? <laughs> oh, very nice. Very nice. I can't believe he's revealing. Yes. <laughs>